You're watching New York Giants Now. I am your host, Tom Downey, here to discuss Evan Ingram, a topic not all of you guys really want to discuss, but it is important. Now, head coach Joe Judge has praised Evan Ingram's work ethic, which I would be concerned if he were not praising a, a player entering a contract year who, in reality, did not play well. There's been, by the way, no better instance in NFL history that proves that the Pro Bowl is a joke than Evan Ingram being named a Pro Bowler this past year. He was not that good, something I think most Giants fans would agree with. Now he's entering a contract season, and Evan Ingram must play better this year. And he's saying all the right things, we will see if that ends up being the case in reality in 2021. Now, we'll get to Ingram's quote here in just a second, but again, he's saying the right things. Quote, there were a lot of things I think I could have done better. He's right. There were a lot of things I did well, and there are things that I can build on. Definitely throwing last year away, there were a lot of things to learn from, but I'm looking forward to this next season and improving every day out here in OTAs. Now, I can tell you what the things Evan Ingram could have done better was. Catch the damn football. He is a pass catcher. He had 11 drops, and that is an astoundingly high figure for a guy who only caught 63 passes this past year. Now, look, were all of those passes absolutely perfect? No. But you Giants fans, I know, because I've seen it in the comments, can point to multiple critical moments in football games where the play is right there for Ingram and it bounces off his hands and the worst possible outcome ends up coming, whether it's costing them the game, a turnover, whatever. Yeah, the receptions and yards look nice. The touchdowns, drops, and the efficiency were not good last year. And now in his final season... Ingram's, or on his contract, I should say, Ingram's got some competition. I'm not talking about Caden Smith or Levine Toilolo or even Kelvin Benjamin, but the Giants went out and they added Kyle Rudolph to this roster. And as a more typical inline wide tight end, I'll let you guys in on a secret. Rudolph fits a little bit more of what Jason Garrett has tried to run in the past out of the tight end spot. Now, He's older, he's got injury problems, I'm not saying he should start over Evan Ingram, but if Ingram can't catch the ball again this season, I would not be surprised, if healthy, if Kyle Rudolph emerges and takes over a little bit more snaps than I think the Giants would prefer to see happen, because they want Ingram to be the guy, but with Galladay and Tony now on this team... They will not scheme and force the ball as often to Ingram as I think they did in 2020. So let me know what you guys think. What is your confidence level in Ingram in 2021? Rate it for me on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being you think he's a bum, he's a stiff. A 10 being you think he's actually the best tight end in the NFL.